my love me 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 welcome back to day 14. we are pushing through these questions y'all stay tuned for the question of the day ladies the question of the day is for you <laughs> Okay, anyway, so ladies, yes, the question of the day is for you. In the interest of keeping all of my approaching questions together, I am letting this question be for you. So the question of the day is, should I approach that fine brother across the way? And of course, my answer is simply yes. Now, here are my reasons why the answer is yes. The first reason why the answer is yes is because ladies do not approach men. Even in the year of 2017, we are very, very fast approaching 2018. Um, in a few days, basically, in a few weeks, we'll be in 2018. And so in 2017, we are still not approaching men as much as men would actually like us, like us to, really. Um, yeah, so women aren't doing it. So that's one of the first reasons why you should be doing it, which means, leads me to point number two, because when you are approaching the brother, you are standing out because, as I already mentioned, Women don't do it. So you're standing out when you do approach him. And because women don't do it, he's actually going to be a little bit shocked, but shocked in a good way. And um, so because you're standing out, that actually leads me to point number three, which is the guy is very appreciative that you actually step out of your comfort zone to come over to specifically speak with him about whatever it is that you're going to speak about. Number four, you are actually holding an intelligent conversation with him or making a joke about something that doesn't have to always be the most serious thing in order to approach a person. You want it to be actually casual and a relaxed atmosphere. So you can go over and just simply say, what are you drinking? Hey, you can go over there and tell him how you like his shoes. You can tell him how you like his, the way he shaped up his beard or his haircut, the way he smell, anything to start approaching the brother. So when I actually was in the dating scene, I was that woman. I am I, I am bold enough to approach you. And, and have I been turned down before? Of course I have. You're not always going to get a guy that is very appreciative and y'all end up switching numbers. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is for you to get out of your comfort zone because just like you are searching for or hoping for somebody to approach you, at times men want to basically, hey, my reindeer ear falling. <laughs> so anyway, at times guys really do want to be able to relax themselves and not feel the pressure of approaching. And especially if you are in a group of women, um, he might not approach you as readily as you think or want him to approach you because men really, this ain't about men, move on. <laughs> Women approach the man. If you see him out there, don't be scared to go up and just say simply, how are you doing? What are you drinking? Actually, you can even buy him a drink. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of the world. You can sit there and hold a conversation with them and then move on with your life. If you guys decide to exchange information at the end of the night or, where, where, you know, passing where you're in the grocery store or where, wherever it is that you feel bold enough to approach the particular guy, be bold enough to say that you are worthy enough to to do this. Like you don't have to be scared to do this. Um, again, I, I I'm I am that girl. And if you happen to be one of my friends, like I do this a lot, which is just funny because, friend, when when you are a, when you are doing the dirty work for your friend, they are just as nervous. Like <laughs> I went out. Actually, I went out with my sister. But this happens with um women, my, my friends in general, because I am that bold one, as I mentioned. So if I see a guy and he's fine to me, I'll, I'll just approach him. But if I happen to be out with my girlfriends, or in this particular case, I was out with my sister, and she mentioned that this one guy was a uh, cute, fine, whatever word she used, right? And I was like, you know, I'm listening to what she's saying, right? And I'm like, okay, excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> and she's basically, she's like, no, no, no. She tried to hold on to me, but of course I didn't listen. So my friends already know that even if you are the friend who finds the guy attractive, I will approach the guy for you. So if you are one of my friends, you sometimes you want to hold back because you already know that I'm that type of girl, which is just funny to me because what are you afraid of? Um, we just live in these days and times are very short for, for us. And so you don't have to be scared about the outcome. Like even when I was approaching guys, I, I wasn't thinking that he was going to 
reject me because uh why would he okay why would he reject me i mean don't get me wrong i actually have been rejected before and it, it's okay it wasn't the end of the world it wasn't the end of the world and obviously i did not die with him rejecting me that is a part of life everybody is not going to like you or find you attractive or anything but i have things to say and um i can hold an intelligent conversation i laugh a whole lot so it's very easy to please me and make me happy but i'm not putting my resume out here all I'm saying is, ladies, take and use your assets that you have and do not or stop being afraid of approaching that fine guy. He wants you to approach him because that really is taking more of the pressure off of him. Hey, hey. Go. Yep. Go. She want to be a part of this video so bad, y'all. So what I'm going to do is end this here. So if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 you make sure that you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Yes, honey. Mommy got to end this because you is cutting up. Sister, approach the guy. See you tomorrow. Mwah.